to present to you Stephen Jobs. Consciously, I really waited for this day to come, uh, not really knowing if it ever would. Uh, but here we are today, uh, March 26, 2011, and fortunate enough to be inducted into uh, the Basketball Hall of Fame uh, for one of the greatest colleges, in my opinion, in the United States. Christy, I want to kind of give it a little tribute to you. It was fun watching you. I used to call you the silent killer. That was my nickname for you. Her, <laughs> stoic. She would do her thing and just methodical, but her expression wouldn't change. Just like you said last week, but she was very talented. And a tribute to your parents. I'm sure they uh, poured a lot into you to make you who you are today. Um, really what I want to talk about today is, and I want to thank a lot of people, but really I want you guys to understand that I, don't, I truly believe that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. And I also believe that all things work together for good of those who love God, and those who are called according to his purpose. And I believe that from the foundations of the earth, the Lord Jesus Christ had a plan for my life. From the moment I was born, to the moment I graduated high school, I went to University of New D1, transferred, all the circumstances that led me to EDBU were intricately planned by our Savior. That primary plan was to change my heart. When I came here, I was not a believer. I was not a Christian. I was a pseudo-Christian. I'm sure you guys know what the word pseudo means. It basically means fake. And I would go to church on Sunday, read my Bible, but my life during the week was, was no different than a person who didn't do those things. But when I came to this campus, one of the things that made me choose this school over, my plans were actually to go to Purdue University, was God began to work in my heart. And I want to attribute to my mom. She actually encouraged me to make the decision as well. And I believe that he began to work on my heart and steer me in this direction because this was a smaller school than I was used to. And in a matter of maybe a year and a half, luckily I was injured. Again, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. All things work together for good of those who love him, those who are called according to his purpose. He used those circumstances to break me, to mold me, to put me through the fire so I can come forth as pure gold. And through those circumstances, I surrendered my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I thank him for the injury. I thank him for the difficulty. I thank him for the struggles. Because it's through our struggles that we truly learn what our character is on the inside. God is not so much concerned about basketball or accolades, and I thank him for these things, but he's after our hearts. And that's the one thing he was able to accomplish by giving me a wonderful coach who brought out the best in me, perfect personality for me as a player a wonderful community of professors and teachers and leaders, great environment. I actually met my lovely wife, Tracy, here. She's actually an alumnus as well of ETBU. So all these things began to unfold. And as I look back over the years, I can see how far the Lord has brought me. Can I get an amen? Is he a faithful <laughs> God? But really, is he a faithful God? Amen. Can you look back over your life? If it were not for the Lord on your side, where would you be? Where would you be? So I say all that to now I can get into the thanks part because he really is the one who deserves all the glory and all the honor. Because in him we live, move, and have our being, and without him I can do nothing. I want to thank you, Coach West, for taking a chance on me. I know it was in the Shreveport time when I tra uh, when I transferred, and um, again the steps of a righteous man put us together at, at, at the opportune time, and uh, you didn't give up. Thank you for your lovely wife. She actually gave me some rides home from time to time. <laughs> um, I want to thank you, Coach Landers. I think we were roommates at one point, weren't we, <laughs> during the years. And um, just for just your discipline as a coach, your encouragement, you gave me a little pointers along the way. Coach Reed, you're an excellent coach. Uh, you built an excellent program. I want to thank you as well. Um, I want to thank my mom again. She really stood by my side and encouraged me to make this decision. Um, I struggled on whether I should come. And I, I asked her, I said, you know what, ETBU is not a D1 school. I can't make it to the NBA from ETBU. She said, son of God, once you make it to the NBA, it doesn't matter where you go. Um, didn't make it to the NBA, but I did get a trial with Ryan, so. <laughs> but 
obviously I got my degree in a lot of other things. Again, met my, my wife here. Um, so there's someone out here today, it's Dr. Harris. He's actually over the religion department at HBU, I believe. Had a huge impact in discipling me while I was in school when I was a baby Christian, just a fledgling in the faith. Huge impact uh, on my life. I want to thank him if you guys can, can pass the word um, along. But there was a lot of things that happened to me. Um, I graduated uh, Dean's List. Uh, did come in Dean's List. I actually came in with a, I think I had a 1.7. <laughs> and uh, I was in New Orleans. I wasn't going to class. I was partying. Okay? Uh, Your mother told me you could do it, though. There you go. There you go. But graduated. See what happens when God takes the holy you? How things can turn around. Graduate, graduated Dean's List. And I always tell my wife, the, one of the best times of my life was the times that I was at East Texas after university. And I have plans for these four little guys over here, okay? So, All right. some, some more others coming, coming along down the pipe. Sam Spivey, I want to thank him for being here today. Um, he actually, I'm actually a State Farm Insurance agent in Tulsa, Oklahoma, on my own agency. And Sam Spivey has been instrumental and in, 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 um, mentored me into that program and been a big encouragement. And you're also an alumni of uh, East I was here for two years. He was here two years at East Texas Baptist University as well. So, um, just thank you. I don't have much more to say. Uh, I just want to just thank you guys for this university, um, all the boosters, the people who made this place possible. Your work is not in vain. <laughs> you are every dollar you give to this school, everything that you do, you're making a way for a lot of students. I never would have been in a place like this, but I just thank you for the sacrifice that you make every day to make a place like this. Beautiful campus now, so. Thank you so much. So, get my picture on the wall now. So, appreciate it. <laughs>